M0 FXB, welcome back to my videos on the AOR DV1 scanner. If you've not heard of this scanner, it receives DMR, D-Star and Fusion, plus HF, Airband, Marine and, and a thousand more frequencies or a million more that I can't even think of. It's a high quality scanner, almost to the point of commercial. So Marcus Roshkosh decided to make some software to use this scanner that you can see here on the left. And it does actually include a band scope and a lot more. Also, lucky you, Marcus owns this scanner, so he has lots of frequencies added that you're gonna find very, very useful. But it does cost money, and you're looking at around 40 pounds to get this. But if you look at other software for sale, it it, you know that do not offer what this software offers it's actually a bargain so if you've got one of these scanners I think it's a must-have piece of software so I have purchased it so what is the process go to the top link that I will provide fill out your name your email and your serial number and make sure you add the serial number of each scanner that you want to use because you can use this software on up to five PCs and five scanners. So it's important, important to get it right, but you know, you can add them on at a later date. And then you will get a reply from Marcus with a link to PayPal where you can pay 49 euros. Once you've got that and paid, then the next email has the license key for each serial number that you have supplied and the direct link to download the software which I have not done yet. I'm gonna do that next in my video. But in brief, once you've downloaded the software, it's gonna ask for the license key and then everything's gonna to come to life. So we just quickly scroll down. There are instructions here to install for the first time. And then it talks about, you know, the scope. And look here, you've got two meters, nine megs there, 3.9, because it's a HF receiver, all modes as well. That's USB, LSB, C4FM, D-Star, DMR, FM, Narrow FM, Wide FM, it, it just goes on and on. So you will need to make sure you've got the latest firmware on your device, but that is really simple to install. You literally just put it onto the SD card, select firmware and upload. And the, the other nice thing about these scanners is that you don't have to have the SD card in there for it to work. Many other scanners, if you haven't got the SD card and they don't work, my Uniden scanner turns off without the without the SD card, so that's excellent. So massive, massive memory features on this device. And on the front of it, there is a micro USB for connecting your scanner to your PC. Now the, the visuals on this do not show the actual scanner because more effort has been put into making sure we have this very useful band scope that shows, look at the activity here. So okay, this is just an introduction. The next part will be installing and using. I am brand new. Please always remember that I'm not a teacher. I'm a tinkerer who enjoys using all kinds of ham radio, receivers, transceivers, CBs, apps, drones, 3D printers. You know me, whether it's a camera, gimbal. I'm just a very techy person who, and I, I enjoy making these videos for myself and I do get a buzz if if other people are watching as well. I just think it's excellent. And if you're getting anything out of my videos, please remember to take this opportunity to, to hit the like and subscribe for future videos. And if you're finding any of this helpful, buy me a coffee, why not? I'll go down the road and have a coffee break. And, um, and, and coffee's so nice. So on to the next part. And thanks for watching so far, 7-3. Okay, let's dive in and download the software from the link provided by Marcus. We've put the special activation keys into a folder here called keys, just there. And the software is now in this folder. If you look at our DV1, just here, we've got the U uh, data USB cable in the micro USB connector at the front and the other end is in my PC. And if we now go to right click on my Windows squares here, right click device manager and we're going to see our port. So double click ports and it's coming up at 37. I'll, I'll, if that number is a bit high, if it's too high, I'll change it. Well, let's just see how we get on for now. 37. Double click Marcus's 
folder, well, the folder that I created, and we actually have the instruction manual in there that you're seeing up on the left. I am reading it, believe it or not. So double click scanner setup, click the red more, and then run anyway at your risk, of course. And we're gonna go next, next, next. And I'm doing this with you for the first time. And at the bottom, we've had one of those symbols come up where you have to allow, and then close. It's already installed. I found a shortcut on my desktop and I've added that to my taskbar down here. We're gonna double click it. You get this window open, click the okay. You only have to click it once. And then navigate to the special license key that you've been given. So I'm just gonna to go to my desktop and I put it under Marcus Keys, double click. And I want the one that's for my AOR DV1. And I'm also gonna turn up my scanner. We got DMR on there at the moment. And then I'm gonna double click the key. And with a bit of luck, it should come to life. Oh, it's asked for the key again. Let's just do that again. I keep, I think it's my fault, but I keep double clicking. So desktop, go to the key. And then the one I'm using, which is that one. And it, it did make me double click again, but we've now got this window. And now we're gonna find 37 and click connect. There you go, looking very smart. And it's gone to 434550. Let's tick the DMR one that I was using. Turn it up. It's come to life. Let's have a look, we, got, we have a squelch. Okay, and we have volume. You record here. We've selected VFO A. If we select here, watch the screen on the radio. It changes to 434550 and then you've got VFO Z. Now I, I recommend you just select auto, auto select the mode, which is just here. See that? Auto select. See if we can fire up my, my node, which is on the other frequency. H-U-B-N-E-T, connected to M-0-F-X-B. Trying to get a better angle of my little stand here. There you go. And the buttons are actually backlit. They look really cool, these buttons. Anyway, um, let's keep tinkering and learning. So if we tap, uh, let's say there's no one talking on there at the moment, so let's go back to DMR. It auto detects. Now if we double tap it, we can actually enter a frequency. And this little window comes here and we can do airband. Let's try airband. So we're gonna go 133.850 and then click OK. And we're now listening to airband. We can select AM if we want. Look at all those modes. DMR, Tetra, P25, Yesu, D-Star, Linko, it just goes on. So, um, hmm, actually can't see AM, although it does do AM, so I'll just leave it on auto and it will auto detect. We've got our HF antenna on there. Oh, it's picking up something, look. That was it. That's airbound traffic. So let's get my HF radio connected, or my HF antenna and see what we get there. So we'll do the frequency, so we can get the right decimal point, 7.150. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, apologies. So we're now on HF. see that the band scope starts to kick in now and we can click and I need to just work out how to fine tune this we can move the band scope or we can move this yellow line look 
Now it's moving a bit too much there. But you see the radio moving as well. So yeah, I found the zoom, you know, the size of this scope. We've got 10 kilohertz, 100, 100 megahertz. Let's just move it. We'll have to get used to it. You can hear HF now. Airband, VHF, UHF. Let's put in my local repeater, which is 145750. So we'll double click that. Let's backspace. I'm just using my keyboard as normal. My repeater 145750 and that's on FM, narrow FM. See if anyone's about. We'll leave it there while we have a quick look around the different tabs here and then we'll end the video because I need to spend some time with it anyway. Uh, it's literally just showing you how to load it really but you've got memories. Search banks. What's on the SD card? A load of frequencies here. I must have loaded something on this because look, it's got all this. I don't know if this is my stuff or or stuff that um, was loaded by Marcus. I just don't remember doing any of this. But look, when I double clicked, did you see that? When I double clicked it, it did put it there. I'll just show you that again. Frequencies. Let's do Coast Guard. And it's put it there. So you've got marine band, air band, lots of bands here. 34 megs right up to 448 there. And at the top, the tabs are changing as well. Look, copy, add, delete, disconnect, and some settings there. Firmware, backlight, which is red at the moment, and the beep. Timer, dimmer is normal. Always on the backlight. Contrast, yeah, you saw that changing. And direction, mirror, vertical mirror. Okay, I'm not gonna risk that now. Uh, but I think it makes, makes the screen go all gray, doesn't it? Uh, bands, again, tabs on the top, frequencies. SD card, and we'll learn about how to save on to that. Search banks, so you add search bank, you know, start and finish frequency, and then enable it, I suppose. Protect mm, memories, no memories. I thought I had some memories, but okay. Ah, there's a couple, there's not much. So there's my memories. So if I double click one of the memory channels, that's my D star hotspot. And yes, yeah, as it put it there, don't think it did, but anyway. And um, what else? Radio control is your main screen. You've got the mode, step, zoom, L, F, and B. L, F, and B. I don't know what that is. Not squelt and noise reduction. And you can enter frequencies, volume, squelch, file settings import license file check for update okay we'll do that no it's the most recent version so you saw that file settings check for update reset settings the default let's double click on the memory okay hub now i'm gonna take mazzy for a walk now hub net I'm double clicking there and it wouldn't let me put in. I've got the name in. How do we um, get the frequency in? No, I'm going to have to learn. Let me read the manual and get back to you. But anyway, that was just a, a quick overview. Bye for now.